Welcome back to Chat Town Pod. It's your host, Red. We got a video today from SSM Clips. Before her trip, my fiance said, We're taking a break. Now she's losing it after I call off the wedding. Good job, my brother. Please like subscribe below. I really appreciate that. Let's get that ciao. It's ciao time. So here's a crazy one about a guy. He's in his late 20s. He's been with his girl for three years, engaged for three years, all set to be married. And when his girl went on a uh, six week trip to Europe, I think, six she messaged weeks. him, texted him at the gate, telling him, telling him that she's going to take a break. In other words, they're breaking up so she can go have fun with dudes in Europe with her girlfriends and gave him no no way to answer or respond to that, blocked him, and off she went. Wow. And the guy handled things like a boss because he then ended their... Uh, One of the reasons why she did that is because she really thought she had him in his pocket. ...relationship and canceled her, her wedding, pocket. and then she comes back and then loses her mind when he handled it that way. I'll be very going to go over here, guys, to show you two things. Number one, you can't tolerate any BS. You can't tolerate any BS, and if someone shows you who they are by acting that cruel and heartless towards you, they obviously don't love you. And number two, you're going to see how he is twisted around to be the bad guy in this situation for not forgiving her or taking her back from her, her family, girlfriends, all that. It's ridiculous. And it's amazing to me how... If a guy did the same thing, he would be the root of all evil. But if a gal yep. does it, the guy's just supposed to forgive her, which is complete nonsense. Title: Am I wrong for canceling our wedding? He says, we've been engaged for three years. My fiance went on a trip of a lifetime six weeks in Europe. She decided that we would take a break in our relationship, allowing me no input in the decision. But what does that say about her perception of this guy? Her yep. perception of this guy is that he's weak. He's obviously the guy that she's settling with to marry. And he'll just go along with this because she has no respect for him. Probably Agreed. settled for a guy that could be the marriage material type when she was done riding the carousel with Chad and Tyrone. But joke's on her and him that she wanted to ride the carousel again when they're about to get married. I called her the day she left and she had me blocked. So I canceled our marriage and her moving in with me in March. Good for you, bro. I, I'm so sorry that this happened to you. I'm sorry you wasted your so many years with her, but you can't marry her. She called me. I'm telling the truth. I'm proud of the man. Most men, most men are simps. Most men are probably just take it and let the woman do whatever and still marry her. Good on you, man. Today to inform me of her arrival time on Thursday morning, to which I answered, what does that have to do with me? <laughs> And have since blocked her. It continues, I should explain better. I was fine with her trip with her old college sisters. In fact, I dropped at her at the airport and took her to boarding. That is when she just dropped the whole break thing on me. Didn't explain it, just told me matter of fact and left. So, my bad, she didn't text him. She, he dropped her off at the airport, gave her a kiss, and then she informed him, oh, we're taking a break. No choice in that. Does that sound like a girl that A, respects her guy, B, loves him? No. And she shouldn't be going on these girl trips. That's the first I called part. her the rest of the day and tried to call her when I was able to the rest of the week. After five days of ignoring me, I had enough that the wedding was off. She can move in with someone else because it's not going to be me. This poor guy tells him that, leaves, leaves him broken, and blocks him. She is a heartless... I mean, who the fuck does that? <laughs> Crazy. She's a total sociopath. But, uh, well, she's going to get what's coming to her. He says a little update. We have a group. Ch <clears throat> we have a group chat among people close to us. Today. What's up with this group chat stuff? I don't have any group chats with any of my friends or any groups of friends. Do you guys all have group chats with your friends? Because I know some. Of, I know my friends have group trap, group trap, group chat with other friends, but they don't have it with me. Am I just a kind of guy that does, people don't want to group chat with, or what? That I inform them that our marriage is canceled and our relationship is over. I did that around 10 o'clock in the morning. The chat quite literally exploded. <clears throat> I started with questions about what happened, which I answered honestly. About 2 p.m., she started just t t asking me to call her so we could discuss this. Uh, there's nothing to discuss. Our marriage ended the second you said we're taking a break and ignored me. Really? No, because he waited five days trying to contact her and was blocked. And then he finally decided. So, again, I still give him credit. I told her that talking on chat is perfectly fine, and she said, no, this is something just between us. Still, I have not spoken with her last message from her at 6 p.m. Please pick me up at the airport, she said, so we can talk about this as we planned. I answered her, that was your plan, not mine. None of this was my plan. Her flight is at 9 a.m. I wish her luck. 
<laughs> See? She thinks he's that weak guy that she perceived him as, and clearly he's not, and she's shocked. You know, this is the part that the balance of being a nice guy and a good guy is so like invisible sometimes where you want to be a good man. You want to take care of things, but you do things too well. Then they want to take advantage of you. They think you're, you're weak because you're taking care of everything and you're doing everything the way you should be doing. That's so stupid to me. Another update. He says, first off, I got my ring back and it's safe with my mom. Nice. Wonderful. Secondly, I'd like to thank everyone for keeping me grounded while I was doubting myself. I'm not sure who said it, but someone said that I shouldn't bother with what she did on her trip and focus on her breaking up with me at the airport, which I did and was not what she was prepared to argue about. So now she knows how it feels to be blindsided also. It seems her college sister has told her I would be insecure and fight about something I couldn't hope to prove. Labeling him when a man stands up for himself or, or rightfully establishes boundaries, he's insecure. You see that the sisterhood tries to defend her and say, he can't prove anything that you did over there. So you just saying that alone already knows that you did some shit out there. Again, these all come from the hoe bag handbook that they use, these type of bullshit lines on the guys. So when I didn't, uh, she didn't know what to do. At one point, she excused herself to go to the restroom and didn't come back for 20 minutes. It seems the brain trust was at a loss to do. So do you vacation? So do you vacation? Any issues? So, he has a whole section of, of little updates and comments he makes in response to people's questions. And basically, this guy, at this point, decides that he's going to take a trip himself. He's no longer engaged and takes a trip. And there's a lot of things he back and the forth. Money. If you want to look it up, it's interesting. So, I'm sticking to the main highlights. Now, some of his comments responding to what's going on here, he says, uh, He spoke with her parents last night. It woke me up, and they must have forgotten about the time difference between the coasts. They offered to pay for couples therapy to help us work through this rough patch, as her mother called it. I told her, no, thank you. Always she ended woman. our relationship. See, this is why a guy has to control the narrative, because otherwise the girl will. Guarantee they didn't get the whole story. And probably the parents, they want grandkids, and they were hoping for a wedding, so that, they don't care about him. But very likely, she didn't tell her parents everything. Never Another do. one. He says, it's funny how a woman can do creaky stalker crap, and it's fine. But a guy does the same thing, and he's straight going to jail. Baffling to me. She's leaving letters for me and with people she knows that I will interact with, like the security guy at my building with my receptionist at work. The letters themselves are a little more than pleading with me to not throw us away for nothing and professing her love for me. Not throw them away. She threw you away at the airport. We're you over. Her to say goodbye, give her a kiss and a hug, and she says, oh, by the way, we're breaking up, taking a break. Goodbye and blocks you. And I'm willing to bet she's going to blame her friends for that. Mm -hmm. Why would she do that? Because she doesn't love him. And she, she expected him to just take it and put up with it. And he says, also, I'd like to thank everyone for helping me stand back up. I was depressed and feeling quite worthless. I leave tomorrow for my first trip across the pond. I think they say, I'm going to nerd out with my buddy and explore Edinburgh, which in the pics is, looks absolutely amazing. I will try to keep my Reddit family updated as much as I can. Once again, thank you so much. Good for him. All right. He needs to get out of here. Go to Europe, maybe you can nail some Scottish chicks. Scotland's on my list. I've never been to Scotland. I went to Ireland a couple summers ago. Scotland is definitely pretty soon. I loved. To, I heard a lot of cool things about that. I may even try some haggis. I may barf in the bathroom after having some haggis, but I'll try it. <laughs> Another one. New development. Two of her friends from the trip called me last night about two hours apart. Both condemned me for my actions, saying fun things like how much he truly loves me and I'm acting like a spoiled little boy. My favorite, how can I treat someone I'm supposed to love as bad as I am? Of course your friends are calling to gaslight you, but smack to you for not blocking them. Right. Maybe you're enjoying giving some feedback and info to the ready community, I don't know what, but block those harpies. Another one. I don't really have one, but I'm enjoying visiting Scotland. Her friends started calling me again last night. Block them, dude. And Rich, one just called me. Really pissed me off. She said my ex deserves better than me. I agree with her and said I wish her luck in her next endeavor and hung up and blocked that number. Finally. Good for you, amigo. It's about fucking time. But anyhow, yeah, you got a little satisfaction. Her friend. It's always amazing. Again, more of the hoe bag handbook shits. It's it's clock. You can, it's clockwork. They don't like it, then they get the friends involved, bombarding you and trying to shame you. And typical weak nice guys will fall for the shaming tactics of her and the friends. But she obviously uh, misjudged this guy. 
and he has a, a lot of posts about him going to Scotland, having a good time there, and he had some pictures I saw, which is awesome. Anytime, guys, you're going through hardships when you can uh, deal with the shock of it, then that's a good time for a good vacation or trip with somebody you can trust. He's there with one of his bros, so good for him. So anyhow, guys, right there. It's amazing. He handled it like a boss. And again, this is why, remember, guys, if you, if you weren't exactly... You know, rolling with the ladies in high school and college. And then all of a sudden, a type of gal that wouldn't give you a chance started to in your mid-20s when you started to establish yourself and everything. And it's usually because they want, they're they ready to get a ring on their finger. They're ready to take a break from the, 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 ba the bad boys for a little bit, find their nice guy who they think will be loyal and loving, and they can walk all over, get him to propose, and then they wait to get married to cheat, or they'll start this, let's take a, a, a break crap before they get married. Let's have a last-minute open relationship before we get married. That's what what happens a lot, and mm -hmm. it's sad. And so good for this guy. So watch out for that, guys, you relationship of guys. And, of course, you saw how they're making out to be the bad guy for actually standing up for himself. Shout out to SSM Clips, and shout out to that man. You know, I'm glad he didn't simp. He's glad he moved forward. It's hard. Heartbreak is hard. I understand it. Most of us men understand it. Don't dwell on it. Just move on, guys. None of these women are actually worth the dwelling. Please subscribe down below. I really appreciate that. And I'll catch you guys next time. Ciao.